guys, it's your boy King Zeke, back again with another video, and let's just get straight to the chase. You know what I'm saying? Let's cut straight to the chase. I know everybody been asking me, how much do I pay for my new 2022 Scat Back Wild Body Shaker? Um, before I tell y'all that number though, let me, let's run through a little something real quick. So. Before I had this car, I had a V6 Challenger. It was a SXT Plus. My name was Serenity. Her MSRP was, I believe, 24 or 25,000. I was paying $450 a month for her. A, a V6. That's like the lowest trim. I had the lowest trim, but then the highest package, if that, if that makes sense, because I had the plus. Anyway. So I was paying $450. I was paying $450 a month though, because at that time when I bought the car, my credit wasn't good. I had something on my credit from my past that it wasn't my fault, but when I went to go get the car, they told me like, look, your credit is not good. You are making money, but in order to get this loan, this is gonna be your number. So my interest rate was like insane. I believe my interest rate was like 17% on a V6. So that's what I had to go through, not knowing that something was on my credit. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault, but I needed a car at that time. I liked that car, so that's the decision I made. So I had my car for two years. Cool, everything was fine. It was a 2017. I drove it up from Florida. I loved that car. Now, let's transition to this bad girl right here. So, MSRP on her is almost $70,000. Um, we in the times right now, like this, like they not making these cars anymore. So when I bought them, you know, sticker price, the car was marked up, which I expected. So the MSRP, I believe to be exact, the exact number, I think it was like $66,000, but this time around, I do have better credit. Was I trying to get into this car first? I'm not gonna lie to y'all. No, I'm not gonna tell y'all what vehicle I was trying to get, cause I'm still getting that vehicle, just waiting on that, just chill, shh, don't tell nobody. But I got this vehicle basically to prepare myself for my second one. Right. Let's just say my second vehicle is over $100,000. Coming from a 25K loan to a 100K loan, that's a big jump. Uh, so my friends down at Lake City Dodge, they told me like, look, yo, we got this car right here. It's around 60, 70 K. We could get you in this so it could prepare you for the car that you really want. I was like, you know what? Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So that's why I ended up picking up this bad girl. <sighs> y'all ready for that amount? Are y'all ready for that amount? Mind you, I got good credit. The amount I paid for this car every single month is a thousand dollars. Say what? My car note is a thousand dollars. And I'm gonna be doing a video in the future where I talk about my total expenses for this car. But right now, people, I pay a thousand dollars. Another story, why do I pay a thousand dollars? How much should I put down? So I did put down a couple thousand dollars, right? And I do have good credit. However, this is my first car I can say like nobody really helped me with, like no cosign or whatever the case may be. If I had a cosign, it'd be cheaper. But since I'm doing this by myself, the interest rate is a little higher. Um, I just got a new job. So when it comes to like pay subs and stuff, whole nine yards. So that's why I pay a thousand dollars. Will you pay a thousand dollars? I'm not sure. It depends. It depends on how much money you put down. And if you if y'all really want to know how much money I put down and really get into all the real numbers, comment down below. I got y'all. You know I'm gonna tell y'all all the information I can to help y'all out. But she sent out a thousand dollars a month, and obviously I'm doing it because I could afford it. I wouldn't say get this car if you can't spend a thousand dollars a month. And that's just my note. That's not my insurance. That's not my gas. That's none of that. But I think that she's worth it because paying a couple thousand dollars a month, oh, I mean, over a period of months right now is worth it for me because 
she's about to become limited edition. So in two, three years, I could look back and say, yo, that's probably one of the best investments I ever made. And right now, good things is coming from her. So I don't mind. I don't mind paying a thousand. Y'all probably in the comments like, yo, a thousand dollars is way too much, this, that, and the third. Listen, everybody pockets is different. Everybody have their own situations at the end of the day. But if you can maintain the payment and you can afford it, go ahead and get it. Don't be scared. You only live once. I'm only gonna be 24 once. I'm 24 years old. I got one of my dream cars. I didn't want this car at first, but this is different. This is the biggest engine that Dodge produced. I have it. And one day I'm gonna own it. She's sitting in my garage forever. So if, if you want one, go ahead and do it, man. Don't be scared, take that risk, whatever the case may be, go ahead and get that. But yes, I pay $1,000 a month. Don't ask me no more questions. I'm broke, I don't got no money, blah, blah, blah. Leave me alone, you know? I'm broke, I got no money, gas is killing me. Nah, I'm lying, y'all. <laughs> I'm fine, everything is cool. And she's sexy, look at her. She just look good. She look good, so that's how much I pay. It's your boy King Zeke with another video. If you like the video, make sure you like, you comment, and subscribe. Especially if you wanna see a video talking about my expenses or how much money I put down I could show y'all my sticker price, whatever you wanna see. Just let me know, just comment down below. I got y'all. I'm gonna be transparent, y'all family. We gonna thug it out, right? Until next time, peace.